What's going on YouTube? Still on vacation, but I'm back home. Awesome. I was thinking about doing a mobile one because I had some stuff to bring with me. Um, didn't get a chance to get into any card shops. Just jam-packed. We went and explored, but uh, we were only walking around because driving in Chicago is insane for a small town folk. I'm just saying. It took us two hours just to get from our hotel back to the freeway after the game. And let's just say I was a little stressed out driving in that. And I don't drive in it. My dad was just like, I can't do it. He just finally just threw his hand. I says, well, let's go. And we got a big full-size truck, Chevy truck. Oh, boy, what an adventure. And I drive a little little tiny thing. So I was, I was nervous as hell. But it was insane. If, you know, I watch, if you watch the games, the Tiger games, and um, I'm not sure, but... We sat, every time there was a right-handed batter, they would show the front of the batter uh, from, and behind him was, you could probably see me. I was four rows up yesterday, right behind in that camera view. So, very, very cool. Got to see two Tiger wins the two days I went there. Tiger fans were out. There were more Tiger fans there than, than Cubs fans. It was insane. It was insane. I'm still a little hoarse from when we were cheering like you wouldn't believe. Baseball stuff in mind. Wow, I, I have baseball stuff to show. Not baseball cards, but a few years back I got a simulated pitching ball, game ball, from Kenny Rogers out of, out of Minnesota. They, did, they do a simulated game every every few days in between starts of 50 pitches. So I watched him, and I didn't bug him. And when the simulated game was over, his 50 pitches, he... Threw this up to me. Says, "Hey, thanks for not breaking my concentration and let me do my stuff." And he threw this up to me in the one he used in pitching. So Kenny Rogers, great pitcher too. So I was super stoked. And then during that series, I got some awesome autographs. Um, this is Carlos, actually upside down for loss. Um, Carlos Guillen, great Tiger himself. Uh, Fernando Rondi still pitching uh, for another team. Very, very nice. Um, we'll do this one here. Virgil Vasquez, he was a pitcher for the Tigers. I'm not sure where he is now, but he was called up during that weekend, so he might not be in the league anymore. But, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a nice pitcher there. Um, this red one, which is sweet, um, that's Gary Sheffield. Oh, hard it was to get that one. That was insane because he doesn't sign for anybody. Um, that one... Uh, I think I said something to him, and whatever I said, uh, he came over to me. So um, it wasn't, you know, nothing bad or nothing. It was just like it, whatever, you know. Um, I think I said something like, like, I just drove eight hours to get here. I just need this autograph. And I talked to him for a little bit. So, um, And uh, here's some very, very nice ones. If anyone knows baseball, Sean Casey, the nicest player I've ever met. Uh, they grabbed him up to help bolster uh, the team for the playoffs. And then right below that, that scribble one, uh, if you didn't know, that's Curtis Granderson. And now a Yankee may be an MVP at some point in his career. Love Curtis Granderson. So very cool. But this weekend, I had a ball I purchased uh, a while back, but I made it for signatures. And I finally got to use it. It was pretty cool. Um... I only got three, and they're not huge names, but they're very, very nice. Uh, since there were so many Tiger fans, it was so hard to get an autograph. Um, Casey Crosby, pitcher, and below that, fitting, is Dwayne Belo. Um, these are relievers. Dwayne Belo is a, a nice reliever for the Tigers, left-hander. And another left-hander, very, very awesome. Um, let me see how he put this. Oh, it's like this. Very hard to read, but ex-Yankee, now a Tiger. That's uh, Phil Coke. And he is funny. I liked him. Cool guy. Awesome. Figured I'd share that. We're going on with English D today with that. But um, I got a couple of Ebays. And I got a PC for the win. We'll do it all in one shot. We're doing a mixer today. Nice, eh? Um, I'm going to go for the nameplate of this, I think. Number 47 out of 360. Alex Green. Letter patch auto. Uh, I have the N already. I need a couple of E's and a G. So that one will look sweet if, when completed. So I'll pick some of those up as I go. It's a very obtainable nameplate since they're out of 360. So very cool. Nice start. 
Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know what this one is. It's taped like uh, crazy, but it's in a magnetic. So, oh my goodness, I went a little nuts. Not a little, not a, not not super crazy, but I had to get a load numbered Alex screen for my um, PC, and I really found a decent price on this one. Not it was pretty expensive, but there's a reason why. It's a uh, five out of six. One of my and it's a one of the better autographs for Alex Green, and it's from Gold Standard. It's the 14 karat gold rookie auto. Nice. I went and got. Uh, I just needed a lower number one. The, I think the lowest I have is to ten. So number five out of six. Gold 14 karat gold autograph. Beautiful card. Very very nice. Uh, gold leaf rookies. Very very cool. So two gr two green beans in one shot. I think that's my eBay's. But then we have some guy named Julian Gaston here. Uh, this is gonna be PC for the win. And this one is a nice one. I don't know what it is with Julian, but he sure man he could pull pack of cards like you wouldn't believe. Holy man. Julian, Julian, Julian. There's some great stuff in here. In fact, there's going to be um, one card that I, where it's not, it was a redemption, but it was, a, uh, it was a Pittsburgh and Cincinnati, which was my other team. And the PC for, it was, an, it was a Heinz Ward AJ Green Auto out of 2011 Press Pass. Freaking insane. Uh, out of 25... Uh, we're just gonna sell and split uh, as soon as he gets the card in. But I, I wanted to get the card in because I kind of wanted to see it. Because uh, that is a, uh, I didn't know, I didn't know Heinz Ward was also a bulldog. So it's, uh, they're on there. It's fit, it's a fitting duel. So it's gonna look very, very cool. Um, so we split the, we'll split the winnings on that one. But uh, we got, I had the Bengals and the Packers. Uh, one uh, other than the AJ Green, I got this. I don't know what in the kind of world the kind of autograph it is. It is a lot of shit in there, but it's Glenn Holt from 2007 Contenders. That's a rookie auto. There is a bunch of that is the scribbliest. Can't make it out. I couldn't make Glenn Holt out of that. That's a short name, and it's like got a million. The whole sticker. <laughs> That's a bangle. Who cares anyway? Let's go with some nice stuff here. Um, I am super excited about all of these. I think I have a numbered version of this one. I am not 100% positive, but this is awesome. Uh, 2011 Press Pass. Antonio Freeman. That's awesome. Uh, this next one's super awesome too. Not a Packer anymore, but absolutely a great Packer when he was. 125 out of 125 from Upper Deck uh, Draft Edition. LSU guy. Stats him what up? Matt Flynn, rookie auto in the LSU uniform. Super awesome. I love you, Matt Flynn. Wish you could have stayed, but I know you got paid. That's right. You got to get paid when you can get paid. And then, you bastard. I called for it, and he finally did it. This is um, 2009 Contenders. Yeah. So 2009, there's only could be really two guys that are rookies in that year, and I already have the other one, so guess who it is? My California boy. Clay Matthews. The Bloodline Surfer Boy, whatever you want to call him, but there he is. What a beautiful card. I only have like four, maybe, I don't think I only have like three or four autographs in and that adds another one. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Julian. His link will be below, just like normal. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm having a great time on vacation. I'm going to go do some stuff today. I'm going to be out and about. So, later, and deuces. Love you guys.